Hello, welcome back to the workshop. Alec is still in Canada. All well and good. I've taken on board some comments and I am going to make a Damascus horseshoe. I'm going to make a fairly chunky shoe. I've drawn the metal out from some Damascus we had left over. Uh, it's going to be 12 inches by about an inch by half, which is a fairly chunky shoe. But the reason behind that is I want to really show off the, um, the pattern. It's not an overly intricate pattern, not many layers, but something a little bit different. Let's crack on. Right, so this bit of steel is just under 12 inches. There is a little slight occlusion on the weld just on this end, so I'm just going to come a little short of 12 inches. Um, go for six and then just offset it slightly just because I'm going to take that a little bit shorter. So we'll come a quarter of an inch that way. So my steel's hot, pull it out of the fire, find your centre dot, start turning. You can put your, your piece over the flat of the anvil on the big, you tend to get no marks coming through then. Try and find where my centre is, there it is. Turn it round, find your centre and just... This is chunkier than I thought it was. So I'll be honest, I'm struggling with the thickness of this shoe. Um, so I'm going to go from my two and a half pound rounding hammer that me and Alec made, and I'm going to borrow his three and a half pound square circle. See if that moves the metal a little bit quicker. It's probably tire my arms out more than move the metal quicker, but hey ho. Shoe's rough shape. I'm just going to stick it back in the fire. I'm going to get a, a gentle heat on it and just smooth the shapes out. And then I'll plan where I'm going to put my nail holes. It's a bit of a backwards way of doing it, but I like to make sure it's right. Uh, my shoe making's not the best, but um, just an easier way to do it is get your shape and then find your nail hole positions. Um, another thing that I was taught once is always plan your sh heat next heat before you pull your piece out of the fire. So as you'll see when I when I put the shoe back in the forge, before I do it, I'll have a quick look, have a quick inspection. I know exactly what I'm doing. When I pull the shoe out, there's no going, oh, uh, what am I doing next? There's wasted heat, especially something that's that chunky and it's made of Damascus. So what I've done is I've uh, marked some lines here, this is where my toenails are going. Uh, I've just taken a line from where this back half of the foot sits, that back half of the shoe sits, gone roughly to the widest part of the shoe, and then just short of it on the inside. This is a uh, Flatland Forge E-head stamp, made by Jim Poor, who very kindly liked one of the videos that I made the other day, which means a great deal to me.
Right, this is my final heat. Just gonna level it up. I've punched the nail holes already. I'm just gonna find a hammer, that one will loop. Just gonna level her up. Usually you'd kind of hammer finish this. But seeing as it's gotta be ground for the Damascus, I'm taking the lazy option and I'm gonna grind it all. So I've given it a rasp and a grind up. Now it's ready for the etch. We'll leave it in there for a little while. Just fits. So guys, I'm really thrilled with how that shoe came out. Um, maybe my etch time wasn't quite long enough or didn't give it a quick clean up. It hasn't come out as dark as some of Alex's stuff's come out, but either way, I'm still really happy. I think it might have something to do with which way round the steel is uh, in the billet, the softer one maybe, I've no idea. Um, but no, I'm really pleased with how that went. And here is my Damascus shoe. See you soon.